Thanks for, for being here. We are proud to, to, to present you um, a, a talk about Lehman and LAP NG. Lehman and LAP is, is um, a project since uh, 10 years in the OW2 uh, ecosystem. And um, I'm, I'm uh, happy to have here uh, uh, people from uh, Gendarme National and Orange who uh, will explain uh, to you better than me why uh, Lehman and LAP is a good product. <laughs> Uh, first, to begin, um, some words uh, about uh, the product. Um, we uh, are doing with Lehman Alda uh, what we call single sign-on. It's uh, very uh, uh, easy to understand. Uh, the goal is to uh, manage authentication on web application. So the, um, the workflow is, uh, is simple. You, you connect to the application. You are redirected to uh, an, authentication, an authentication portal. And uh, you get a token, uh, which is trusted by the application. And uh, you can validate, the application can validate this token. So this is the easy part. But you will see that in single sign-on, you can have uh, different protocols, um, like CAS, SAML and uh, OpenID Connect, and uh, Lemon LDAP implements all this protocol. Some history: uh, We are um, the project was founded uh, in uh, in France uh, in 2003 and uh, was forked by uh, Gendarme National in 2006. And since uh, since now, we are working on this uh, uh, NG uh, version, which is. Uh, uh, releasing a new major version every uh, uh, three years. Uh, main feature are, of course, single sign-on, but uh, a big feature, a big uh, feature in Lehman and Lap is the access control. So you are able with Lehman and Lap to uh, decide uh, which user can access to which application. And of course, we added in the last uh, big version, which is, which is uh, Lemon Adap 2.0, uh, some big new feature like multi-factor authentications and uh, web service uh, protection. Uh, here are some samples. Of course, uh, like uh, other projects, if you need a demonstration, um, you can go to me and I'll show you how it works. So this is um, the login page. And you have also a, a portal with an application menu, so you can display to your users every uh, every uh, application that uh, it can access. And we also have a an web administration web administration interface. But if you want to tap to type uh, command line, you can also type command line. Um, of course, it's a free software. We are proud of that. Uh, it's a GPL license. Uh, the, the product is not owned by a, a company, but uh, we are uh, several companies and organizations uh, contributing to, to it. Some uh, some focus on the roles. The the the, the most uh, important part is the portal, which is serving uh, the authentication form to the users, and it it is also managing uh, all uh, specific uh, protocols. But you also have uh, the manager, which is the administration interface, and also the handler, which is an agent. Uh, which is able to protect um, the access to web applications. Um, in, me, in the middle of that, you have all the configuration and session uh, database to, to share all the data between all these components. So for web application, you see the handler can act as a, an agent to protect the web application. It's a, an easy way to, to use uh, Lemon LDAP. Uh, but we also support all uh, standard uh, single sign-on protocol, uh, like CAS, SAML, and OpenID Connect. Um, in the last version, we have the multi-factor authentication. So any of these uh, uh, two factor is supported in uh, Lemon LDAP. And uh, we added some uh, extended um, features, like uh, DevOps. Uh, we use DevOps because it's cool to say DevOps in a conference. Okay, <laughs> the the goal of of this is to to be able to uh, deploy application in containers uh, without to be uh, forced to update the central configuration. So you can just configure the single sign-on rules in the the local uh, rules uh, JSON file, 
And uh, also we are doing a web service and uh, with uh, an handler, which is a service token handler, you can protect a web service just like you protect a web application. Um, also, we are using O2 uh, under the OpenID Connect protocol and you can also use the O2 access token to protect a web application. Uh, last word about uh, Renater, uh, which is a federation uh, 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 federation uh, group uh, in France. Um, we uh, we just uh, released uh, a new version uh, which supports this uh, federation, so you can use MNLDAP to join the Renater on Edugain Federation. And uh, if you need to extend the um, the software, we have now a plugin engine in 2.0, uh, which can be used and uh, which is heavily used now by the Gendarme National. And we have uh, plenty of uh, examples of, of plugins. So you can uh, use a standard Lemon and app and add, add your own, uh, own feature on it. OK, uh, that was a little technical, but now I, I pass the, 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 the microphone to Orange, so they will present uh, what they do with the Lemon and app. Thank you. Thank you. So, Orange. Oh. Orange and Lemon LDAP is a long time uh, history, but a beginning of a journey. Uh, it was the first way to implement it in real, uh, real uh, case. Uh, now, a few months ago, and we start. But it's maybe sur a surprise. Orange is a complex environment. Surprising. We have a lot of people with different kind of uh, jobs. Um, of course, uh, developer, finance, support, HR, marketer, extra, extra, extra. And when we want to uh, create something, we need to address all people. Of course, I can't give the same tool to uh, an HR people, a finance people, or an IT expert. So first, complexity. We have thousands of applications, I say thousands of applications, about 10,000 applications. Some of them have been built inside Rome, others have been bought with say, the, their own protocol, sometimes SAML, sometimes CAS, sometimes nothing, and sometimes strange things, we have Rome. And if, of course, everything is moving all the time. Today, our developers want Git. Tomorrow, le, what, what, uh, what will they want? We don't know. It changes about one time per year, maybe often. So we need to find a, a way to work with all that uh, motion. So, I've said uh, Orange is a complex world and a complex environment. We have our Orange people, but we are also working with external people. Contractors, partners, universities, under the same rules. Sometimes with freelance. In the Orange world, yes, sorry, in the Orange world, uh, we have to create accounts for people and it cost us about 10 to 20 days. Very difficult. It's not agile for um, freelance of three days of work. We have um, a lot of, uh, I've said that a lot of uh, tools we are bowing. Uh, we've seen uh, an example after. Uh, Sometimes uh, our tools are accessible from internet, other time only an intranet, another point of complexity. Each, um, and of course, each application has his own life cycle. With thousands of applications, I let you imagine what it could be. It's a nightmare. And our users want, of course, the same uh, quality of tools as what they use on the internet at home. 
if I use something like uh, GitLab at home because I'm developer, I want the same thing at work. It's a minimum. This is the rise of a fashion tool. So we uh, start from the beginning with uh, we, we have the same constraints and the same thing than other. We, we've tried to do something very interesting. We, we've asked people what they want. Not always the case in Orange. And we list that type of uh, uh, this list. So uh, support a lot of uh, protocol. Yes, we've seen the CAS, Samuel, etc., etc. Maybe tomorrow uh, others. Manage all type of uh, identification, all use case. Not always the case. Uh, access from internet to intranet. Uh, have single way to authenticate people for all the cases, etc., etc. But I think what I prefer say keep complex, stupid, sorry, simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. That's not the case in uh, our standard uh, way of work. We are doing complex things. What we want, what all user wants, is to do things simple. Simple for user, simple to implement, simple to integrate. So, Christian. Hello. Uh, so, it's, um, we wanted to, to build uh, something scalable and uh, we wanted also to, to answer to the different uh, questions that were uh, asked. So to give access to external, to give access to internal. So it's the, the kind of uh, infrastructure we, we set up. So as you can see, we, 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 we use the many of the proposed features. Um, on the top, it's the external uh, lemon and on the bottom it's the internal lemon and uh, it was plugged with uh, uh, for example our Kerberos infrastructure it was plugged with our LDAP infrastructure it it was also plugged with uh, our SAML infrastructure we also used the uh, SAML between uh, between the lemon we also tried the the the, the various uh, Second factor authentication, YubiKey, TOTP, and uh, and even mail uh, mail based second factor. So it's all the product we we have tested with uh, with Lemon Lab. So you can see from hmm? with success with success. So it means uh, GitLab, Matterpost, WordPress, Nextcloud, Jira, OpenStack, uh, the QWiki. <laughs> Grafana, Eclipse, Check, Confluence, and uh, the, the Apache modules, the SML modules, and the OpenID Connect modules. So under the... Um, to, to, to make this, we've got two, three, three, three steps. The first... Um, the, the first team... Uh, two things that we uh, we did so uh, test Lamon and, and try the limits test the the potential architectures test integration with the twenty application almost twenty application we we tried and uh, test the the various OTP, OTP, OTP systems then we got the the second team to to build to get the result from the 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 first uh, the first part the first uh, the first team and then we will have the final team to to run so it's uh, some work ongoing and uh, it's uh, how we are organized so to to do this we 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 set a partnership with uh, Vortex maybe you, you want to yeah, maybe just a few words. Yes, we, as uh, we, we already say, the, this is a free software uh, without uh, the lead of a company, and um, we built this partnership with Orange for the first year. 
and uh, the goal is to help the development of the product. So uh, Orange will uh, uh, ask some feature to Vortex, and uh, as Vortex is a core contributor to the to the software, it will uh, develop or and patch, etc. So um, if you need some uh, information, uh, you can come to the Vortex uh, booth uh, to know how we we built uh, this uh, this uh, framework contract. So, so you, you, we use the model we, we already experimented for uh, for open source uh, software. So it's a ticketing uh, ticketing model, which is uh, uh, quite flexible and uh, is done. Uh, it's been done with the help of, of Christian Pater Patterson, with, uh, which is uh, in charge of uh, open source uh, things in Orange. <laughs> and uh, every business unit can uh, can request request uh, help from this. Uh, ticketing system and uh, we can also contribute to the to do the roadmap uh, with some uh, evolutions we were already asked some uh, um, um, evaluation of what we 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 used in uh, integration we're also done with the with Vortex uh, so the the thanks for the contribution contributors, the usual uh, the Lemon LDAP team, of course, uh, Vortex for the support, all the internal contributors, and the uh, big help of uh, coffee machine and chocolate. <laughs> Sorry. So, ju just one word. Orange is um, at the beginning now, Gendarmerie Nationale have with experience return. Thank you. So we'll try to tell you the success story of the Gendarme National and starting with the genesis of the, the project. And it all began in 2002 um, with the, when the Gendarmerie desperately needed a first web SSO. And we bought the software SiteMinder who was uh, doing the job at the time, but was far too expensive for us. The cost was uh, approximately 1 million euro per year. So we decided to take over Lemon LDAP from uh, the Ministry of Finance and forked it. And as Lemon said, uh, in 2005, mostly 2006, uh, we developed uh, Lemon LDAP NG. And uh, it's now uh, the single sign-on software used by almost all civil services. And I say almost because the Ministry of Defense, I believe, is using a key clock. Um, and you have to compare the 1 million euro licensing cost every year um, with uh, what it costed us uh, for, uh, since uh, 2005, and it's less than 300,000 euro. So I think you can call that a success story because uh, we, uh, we spared a lot of money. And uh, the team is, uh, is mainly composed of four persons that are dedicated to, uh, to the administration and the development of uh, Lemon Lab NG. And uh, so uh, the Mr. Guimar, who is not here, but uh, is the lead developer of Lemon Lab NG and started in 2005 as a captain and is now a two-star general. So you can, you can picture the, <laughs> the path that has been accomplished. And uh, Mr. Mudu is in the room here and has contributed to uh, to the development of uh, the 2.0 version, and more specifically in the plugin about second factor authentications. We have different platforms, uh, seven actually. Uh, one called Proxima for the gendarmerie, a second one for the police. Uh, one called PSI, who is uh, only a service provider with the interior security services. Uh, Judy Web is a service provider on the, that is accessible on the government networks and two single sign-on solutions were accessible uh, by internet. And we also are doing identity federations with 12 civil services. Um, you can see the statistics that are um, that I speak for themselves. So uh, the number of requests every day, number of unique users every day, and the application that I used every day, uh, that justify our infrastructures of 12 reverse proxies, seven uh, LDAP server, and four portals that are quite heavily used every day. 
And I have a few more figures for you that maybe will impress you or not. Um, so this is the connection peaks during 10 minutes. So as you can see, we reached uh, 11 uh, connections um, in the, on Monday the 13th. This is the, the, peak, the even peaks during 10 minutes, so, um, which is uh, five, uh, five, 550,000 uh, events, which is basically a HTTP request uh, in 10 minutes. So it is roughly uh, 1,000 requests every second. And this is the peak of uh, unique users during 10 minutes, and it's at 8 o'clock when uh, gendarmes uh, arrive at work. So it's around 40,000 connections. And the last, no, it's not the last one. So this is the number of unique users every month. So this is consistent with the fact that we are approximately 100,000 gendarmes in France. So you can see that it's approximately what we have here. And the last one is every good authentication every month. So um, this is quite heavy as well. What we expect uh, for the next uh, two years is to upgrade all platforms in LemonLabNG 2.0, uh, which has already started with uh, Psi and uh, Proxima. We also are trying to implement uh, Connect Agents, which is the OpenID uh, protocol, and also second factor authentications, mainly for our reservists that are um, authenticating through internet. And uh, we, also, uh, we will also try to implement uh, the SSO as a service, not only because it's cool to say DevOps in a conference, but also because it's, uh, it is asked by uh, our developer on our cloud platforms. 